Hello everyone, in this video we'll discuss the conceptual framework behind the subnational modeling in LIST. So why create a subnational projection? Well, not every district or region or subarea is the same as the national average in terms of maternal, newborn, and child health. We know that coverage, cause of death structure, and mortality rates can quite drastically vary from the national average depending on the region. So using LIST subnational wizard creates a baseline projection that could be used multiple times for different analyses. Subnational in this context can mean geographic region, both quintile, urban or rural region, and any subnational group for which you have data on. The necessary data for a projection in general are population, total fertility rate, HIV prevalence, contraception prevalence rate if using the FAM plan module, coverage of maternal, newborn, and child health and nutrition interventions, cause of death profile, and mortality rates. When we're modeling at the national level, typically population, HIV prevalence, total fertility rate, CPR, and coverage are available from household surveys and UNWPP. The cause of death profile and mortality rates are also available at the national level, but they're typically unavailable at the subnational level. So when we're making a subnational projection, the user typically imports into the wizard population, total fertility rate, HIV prevalence, and CPR. And now the wizard can automatically populate with coverage of maternal, newborn, child health, and nutrition interventions. And cause of death profile and mortality rates can be estimated using LIST. So the purpose of the subnational wizard is to use any coverage changes that were user entered or extracted from the subnational database in the wizard to calculate any health status data that the user did not put in the wizard. So as we mentioned previously, cause of death profile and mortality rates. And we also use the wizard to transfer user entered health status data from the final into the final subnational projection. So the subnational wizard conceptual walkthrough first starts with the DEMPROJ estimates. Then we move on to AIM estimates. Finally, then LIST and then family planning. And when you're done with the wizard, you'll have a subnational baseline projection. As you can see here, there's many inputs in each module that the user can enter. So in DEMPROJ, we have total population um, for the first year and total fertility rate. In AIM, we have HIV prevalence, PM, TCT, COTRIM, and adult ART. In the LiveSafe tool, we have many different inputs, but typically most users have intervention coverage available. Um, for family planning, we have contraception prevalence rate that the user can enter while in the wizard. And like I said before, once you're done with the wizard, um, you'll have a subnational baseline projection created. So when gathering data, we have a blank template that's available for comparing the national and subnational, avail subnational data, and that is available on our website. And you might note that for some interventions, it might be necessary to create a ratio. So when the household survey is different from the list default data source, so that would be anything from the other modules like AIM, FAMPLAN, and DEMPROJ, vaccines, including TT, vitamin A supplementation, and the WASH interventions. Also to note, most programs collect the numerator, but not the denominator. So for coverage, we have all those who need an intervention who actually receive it, and we need to divide that by those who actually need the service. So all those who need a service and receive it divided by all those who need the intervention and many people don't collect both and it can be difficult to extract coverage when you only have the numerator. So LIST has been used multiple times um, to model at the subnational level so we've done modeling for strategic planning at the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation um, using India and Nigeria data We've done countdown to 2015 case studies in Malawi. We've used LIST for program evaluation at the World Vision. And also we've done province level planning in DRC 
for to in to determine which interventions are most impactful for the 26 provinces. So there are a couple issues when modeling at the subnational level. First is attribution. So we know that in a given area, multiple programs exist and are working to impact maternal, newborn, and child health. So it can be difficult to attribute all the changes to one program or one funding mechanism. We also know that programs often don't collect the data that we need for LIST. So sometimes the interventions might be defined differently from how the standard definitions in DHS and MIX are defined. Users also have to make assumptions in order to use program data for coverage sometimes, and it might be a little bit tricky to determine what assumptions to make, and sometimes the quality and availability of data are not good. When choosing a subnational level, sometimes it can be difficult because regions undergo redistricting or might change over time, and sometimes programs may span multiple regions or only operate in one area of a subregion. So maybe a program only operates in one section of Bihar, India, but we only have data available for Bihar as the whole state in India. Thank you so much for watching, and please contact us if you have any questions. Bye.